Sunday fun day. Can you guys guess where we are? Uh, this sign might give it away. It gave it away. We're at Universal. You see that brown building right there? That is the new construction that's going on over there next to Dudley Do-Rights in Islands of Adventure. There's like a building there now. Look at that building like looming through the trees. It's huge. It's gonna be a big old ride. Ah, yes. Universal has four lanes open and they're the far right lane. So everybody came around the left and they're like, oh no, we have to get back in there. The only thing that I can equate this to is like the grocery store. Like if you see that there's a huge line of people, you should like get out and open up another register. Am I right? I don't know what happened, but it just seems like the park just got like real busy, like right now. I don't understand why. Well, this thing's new in the hub right there, some sort of photo booth. That's kind of fun. We've actually haven't been here in so long that this is the first time that we've seen this new sign on the way into City Walk. Pretty impressive. I like it. It's a very nice looking sign. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the sun. Can you? There it is. Hey Billabong, I don't think you guys know what a bikini is. Hey there, NASCAR Cafe. You looking awfully wrecked. They've been renovating this for a while and it just seems like they just took it apart and then we're like, I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll figure it out later. Here's what I wanna know. So they took down this like decorative detail underneath these bricks, but look, there's like sign material underneath there. Like there's different colors and stuff. I wonder what used to be or what is under the bricks. Oh, nothing like no holiday, anything. Just plain old universal. Still fun, but. I mean, holidays are way cool. That's crazy. Holidays are universal, would you say that? Yeah, you could say that. But it's crazy that Disney had got, like, still have everything up. I know. They're just trying to get more money out of you, I think, maybe. Maybe. Zoigs, Scooby and Shaggy are out. A pretty long line to meet uh, Scooby and Shaggy. Not a very long line to meet uh, Doc Brown, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Hey, Doc Brown. <laughs> yes. Like a photo shoot. Dora and Diego. The little girl looks kind of like Dora too. Every time. We should just never come this way, I think. Oh, I like that they're doing like a little dance on their skates. Oh, where are they going? <laughs> Oh, this coral is intense. Did you guys see SpongeBob almost fall out? Our famous friends would love to meet you, so please stick around, and they will be with you shortly. You hear that, Jen? They would love to meet you. Okay. Yeah, SpongeBob's got a line out the door. Squidward, three people. Let's meet Squidward. So, Gardens of Allah, completely walled off. The rumor is 25 years of Universal uh, Museum, which I, I don't know if it's gonna be a museum because that seems kind of, I don't know, like they could do so much more. I'm thinking maybe something to do with SpongeBob because over there is the SpongeBob store, what's it called? It's called SpongeBob Store Pants. Oh, right, right next to it, and then maybe like a special entrance to ET. I don't know. We'll see. See what I mean? SpongeBob Store Pants right next door. Like you could totally take this, get rid of Kids Own Pizza, get rid of Woody. Why? Who, why are you letting your kids climb all over Woody? And uh, just like run SpongeBob Store Pants all the way out, or some other SpongeBob themed thing. But Wait, I don't know if they're changing the how facade. Did SpongeBob get all the way over here so fast? Yeah, what the heck? He was just over there. Hmm. It's like Santa, I guess. Interplanetary passports are back, so we're here to ride ET. Yeah, look, new computers, yay. New plastic interplanetary passports. Yeah. It's so dark these? right here, no. Oh. Look, there it is, yay. Botanicus. My cold. Whoa. 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 My favorite part. The bottom of the hill. They're flying. Yeah, we are flying. It's blurry. Go to Tickly. Ouch. Ouch. Welcome home. <laughs> you return to us. Sing it with me, Jen. Welcome home. Where's Mad Dog? Mad Dog. There she is. You have saved our planet. Here he comes. Hello, 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 hello,
Funny thing happened, so many people had like super long names, so they never got to our name. It was like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. It really was. It was like Shaquille. It was such long names. I don't like I don't know Abigail. It's, I don't know. It's not really that long, but it, well, they were all long. CT stores got Back to the Future stuff. This is a pretty sweet Back to the Future shirt, and I don't know if they have these for sale, but there they are, the little vinyls and stuff. Yeah, they do look. Oh, all three generations of the DeLorean. Pretty awesome. And then there's the vinyls down there. Oh, and he comes in a time machine. Pretty awesome. Check out this little E.T. guy. He's fun. I like how these two E.T. dolls look like they're having a deep conversation about something. <laughs> not often that we walk back here when it's not Horror Nights, but let's, uh, let's see if there's anything new going on back here. In Fievel's play area, and uh, the Barney area, and then also Woody's Nuthouse coasters back here. I like oh. that face. What we did, I, now I remember, we did go back here. We, we met up with some friends, with some of our UK friends, um, Stuart and his family, and we rode the water slide with their kids. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, there is a water slide in Universal. It's not, it's not like a water slide. But yeah, there's like a mat that you wear. Or no, no, sorry. You don't wear anything. You ride down on a raft. But for the most part, you stay dry, except for your right leg. <laughs> I should probably mention, you guys remember how it was cold yesterday? It was also cold this morning, it's not cold anymore. It's like warm out. It rained for a little bit, and now it's beautiful, and they got these fans on out here. Pretty sweet. This is like the uh, the water area for Curious George. I like how it's going up as well. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, be careful, the water squirts out. Welcome to the ball factory. We're not gonna go in there because there's like water spraying everywhere, and I don't wanna get wet, but there's like foam balls that you can put inside little guns and you shoot each other with them and everything. It's fun. You know why we'd get wet here? I'll show you. This one. What? We we're on our way uh, through the Universal and we ran into Lee and Chris. Hi. We're from England, Sunderland. All the men have come in the years, both. Nice. <laughs> Been looking to see us. Yes. After three years. <laughs> Would you guys awesome. believe it? They're twins. I know. They also said that when they booked through their travel agency, the travel agent said to go and look for the Tim Tracker on YouTube. They're through First Choice or Thompson's. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we'll definitely be looking them up. Yes. Yeah. Thank cool. you. It was very nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah. it was. You. But I was Really mean news as well. Jen got herself a flaming mo. Well, you should do that in slow motion. Oh, it'll be so cool. Yeah. Hello, most Tavern. Oh, okay. Sorry. He asked me to hang up because he was having a conversation with the dial tone. Oh. Yeah, shake your body doing that to Bartman, man, right? I know the words, trust me. I used to know all the words. Bartman man was my jam back in the day. Dang saxophone. Heading over towards Men in Black. Are they gonna be playing Ja Rule? No. Janet Jackson. What is this? Janet Jackson. All right. Then. Jen's cleaning out her flaming mo cup because you get to keep these, and it's like it's still going. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of all of it so that it doesn't do weird you need stuff. Hot water is what you need. Well, I don't. I don't have hot water. I only have water fountain water. There's just a certain beauty about this that you wouldn't ever find in actual London. Also, there's just an unopened bottle of water here. Big surprise, the parade's in our way as we're trying to leave. Yeah, Dora's rocking out. Let's see him. We did it! Yay! Yay! Nice work on doing it. What was it that they did? They did. Oh, I'm pretty convinced that if I wore khakis and a vest, I could like be in the parade. I like the angry chick. He's actually playing the drums. They have triggers on him. That was awesome. <laughs> the quietest float ever. So now that the parade's done, I wanted to show you guys, the tree is still up, but it's uh, 
it's all undecorated, but there's still like lots of uh, confetti stuck in it from the from the celebrations when Santa comes through. Look at all that confetti. I wonder if the squirrel's still there. I feel like he was like right around here somewhere, so I don't think he's there anymore. Wow, this is awesome. Here it is from far away. They got one more thing to take down. That's the star. And also, they took all the decorations out of the storefront and they put up a pardon our dust sign. Oh. I wonder what they're gonna, they're gonna put back, like they had mannequins in there before I think. That's what it was, they had a TV with like their ads on it in there. Now that the holiday season is over and there's nothing going on in the theater, commence the laying down in the middle of all of Universal's lawns. Alright Universal, we're leaving you with this sunset. It was beautiful, we're gonna go to Chili's and have some dinner tonight. We have a Chili's gift card that somebody, one of you guys sent to us. Thank you very much. We're gonna go spend it tonight and go to Chili's. Yeah, we're at Chili's. We got some fried pickles because they're delicious. I got something, some kind of burger. I don't know. It took a long time to come out, so I don't remember what I ordered. But then got Chili's fajita explosion salad. Tell you guys what stinks. We're back home now, but uh, Chili's was not good. My mine wasn't very good. Jen says hers was was delicious. She enjoyed it a lot, but uh, I'm the one that wanted to go to Chili's because I was like, Jen's like, we have spaghetti at home that we can make, and I was like, right, but we have this Chili's gift card. Like, it's gonna be so good. And then I ordered what I thought was gonna be a good burger, but it wasn't very good at all. I got some kind of barbecue burger, but it was just like, everything was too sweet. They had their own special pickles on it that were just too sweet. They had their own special barbecue sauce on it that was just too sweet. And it was just like, it made the whole burger like ridiculously sweet. And then the french fries tasted like corn, which was weird, but it's what they tasted like. So it just wasn't, wasn't good for me. So I'm not feeling so good right now. It also hurt my stomach too, because it was too greasy. So I guess I should go to bed then, right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.